Hello everyone and welcome back. Um, first of all, I would like to thank everyone who has recently subscribed and started commenting on my videos. It truly means a lot. Um, after this video is over, please continue to subscribe, like, um, and comment down below what you think. I'm about to watch the Ready Player One trailer, uh, directed by Steven Spielberg, starring Ty Sheridan. Um, I haven't seen any recent work from Ty Sheridan, but I did see him in a movie with Matthew McConaughey called Mud, and I did love that movie. Um, so he did, he did seem like a very good actor there, and obviously this is years later, but, um, we'll, we'll figure out if he, hopefully with this trailer, if he's, if he's doing a good job. Um, I know that this movie is kind of an homage to all of the previous works of Steven Spielberg, uh, as we saw in the Comic-Con trailer, it features things like Iron Giant, which is a movie I totally grew up with, and I'm very ready to see uh, Iron Giant cameos in this. I wonder what other cameos we're going to see in this trailer, so let's see. Um, as you see, I'm trying out a new backdrop, except the light is not good. Uh, it's definitely hard in this college dorm room to find a place to have as a backdrop for my videos that isn't a disgusting green door. Um, I'm definitely trying to figure that out, but I don't want to invade my roommate's side too much. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. But I am very ready for this trailer, and let's just do it. Okay. My name is Wade Watts. My dad picked that name because it sounded like a superhero's alter ego, like Peter Parker or Bruce Banner, but he died when I was a kid, my mom too, and I ended up here, sitting here in my tiny corner of nowhere, there's nowhere left to go, nowhere, except the Oasis. A whole virtual universe. People come to the Oasis for all the things they can do. But they stay because of all the things they can be. Can you feel this? Um, yeah. It's the only place that feels like I mean anything. The Oasis was the brainchild of James Halliday. Hello. If you're watching this, I'm dead. I created a hidden object, an Easter egg. The first person to find the egg will inherit half a trillion dollars and total control of the Oasis itself. Who is this Parzival? And how the hell is he winning? Find him. This is just a game. I'm talking about actual life and death stuff. The Oasis, the world's most important economic resource. Okay. And it's nothing less than a war for control of the future. This is so cool, though. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the rebellion, Wade. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Help us save the Oasis. Oh, I liked that. Wow. What a pleasant little movie. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm going to be hit with waves of nostalgia watching this, but it's definitely not heavily focused on that. It seems as though it's more, it's, wow, I, I really like it, you know? I'm not always, um, all in on movies that are so heavy on CGI like that, but I think it looks really, really good. Overall, I think the trailer was good. I think they showed a really, um nice collection of clips there. I, I'm more interested in it now than I was after the Comic-Con trailer. Um, I'm still not sure if I'm going to be able to invest to see this film in theaters, but um, 
it does look like a good one uh and i can't wait to see more trailers and find out more about this movie i it's definitely not about what i thought it was um and i'm excited to see what else they have for us um i have to go back to doing homework now but leave a comment down below let me know if you are going to see this movie um what you thought of this trailer and if you think it looks good at all um uh, don't forget to like this video and subscribe i would very much appreciate that and have a good day i mean there are a lot of good movies coming out soon so let me know which ones you're seeing and i will probably you know put up some reviews for which ones i'm seeing unfortunately i am so jam-packed this week that i won't be able to see star wars until friday night and yes I'm saying until Friday night, like, that's not one of the first days I can see it, but I know people seeing it on Wednesday and Thursday, and it's killing me that I can't do that, but I have classes during the show times, and it's just, there's a lot happening in my life. Um, but my roommate and I are going to see Star Wars on Friday night, and I will put my review up on Saturday morning. Um, I will try. <laughs> yeah, so, okay, have a good day, and bye! <laughs>